so I could, you know, he'd be focusing probably on the stalkers because they're right up in his face. And in the meantime, my stalkers would be mowing down his troops. I mean, stalkers, Colossus would be mowing down his troops, yeah. So I actually stick with two gateways this whole game, and I spend most of my resources on all of these Colossus, which right now, all of these is two. And I'm should be chrono boosting those probes. Not sure why I'm not. I, I started chrono. There we go. And just like I chrono boosted it when I started making the probes. And so here with my view, I could actually see one marauder right there. So just as I saw that marauder, I pulled back because I didn't want to lose any units right now because I didn't have a very large army. And he has quite a few marauders actually. So, he pushes out for the attack. Luckily, I am prepared with my two Colossus. And I really don't go past Colossus at this in this game. I do try to get the uh, Gravitonic Boosters, aka Observer Speed Increase. Not sure why he just stopped right there, probably just preparing for the attack. And there, for all of you numbers people, is the APM tag. And I, we are both sitting at around 50 for our averages. So, you know, I don't think either of us will APM spam. So here it comes, and you can see the Colossus. Now he stims and runs away, which was a good move. Because if he would have tried to fight, my Colossus would have most likely just completely destroyed his troops. So he pulls back. And, uh... A lot of them are on low health, and he doesn't have any medevacs. Which probably actually would have saved him in this game, and look at that. A ghost! And where is it? Is it here yet? Where is it? Ah, there it is. A nuke. Yep, so you're gonna get to see a nuke in this game. Used against me. So for those of you who haven't seen a StarCraft II nuke yet, this is your chance, and I'll be sure to show it in all of its glory as it takes out all my probes. Because I was... I don't know why I didn't pull them away, I guess I was just too lazy. <laughs> like, I saw the nuke coming, and then I was thinking about pulling away my probes, but I hesitated just like one second too long, and as I was pulling them away... So here, I see the ghost because the Zelnaga Tower gives me detection, and he cloaks. Actually, do these give you detection on cloaked units? Not sure. Anyway, so now he's got a cloaked ghost, and the nuke's done. And here it comes. So he just positions it right there. Not sure what he's waiting for. Ah, there we go. <coughs> and there it is. The tactical nuke. So he launches it right in the middle of my mineral line, and there I am. Uh, I knew it was coming. See, I pull all my probes out just a couple seconds too late. And there's the nuke, killing everything. Luckily, I was chrono boosting out an observer because I saw the ghost and knew it was a nuke. Why else would he send a single ghost out? <laughs> and me and my genius fly right past him because I thought he was retreating over this way, but instead he ran straight into my main and started sniping out my probes. So, slowly I send the observer back, and I think this is when I start to get the gravitonic boosters because I realize my observers are incredibly slow. And I got a lot of minerals saved up. Should probably spend them on stalkers. See, but uh, he has quite a few marauders. But that's really all he's got for his army. He must have spent a lot of his stuff on those nukes. Because I actually have more minerals and gas than him. So he must have spent almost all of his on his nukes. And those mules are actually not even mining. Oh, there we go. It's like, get those to work, buddy. Gonna need them. So I actually haven't played through the campaign yet because I want to beat StarCraft 1 campaign. I never bothered to beat it because it just takes so long. So I want to beat the StarCraft 1 campaign before I get into this one, so I get the full story. 
even though they do give you a briefing of the story while you're installing the game, I still want to play through the the first campaign. So here he gets starports, most likely to counter my Colossus. Uh, and that's probably a smart thing to do because I don't have too many stalkers to accompany these Colossus. And I send my observer out with him. And there we go. The Gravitonic boosters are done. And just check the income at the last second. So yeah, see my income isn't very great. Then again, he's got all those mules helping. So here I go in, and this is basically the final battle. All these Colossus just destroy his Marauder army. And there's another tactic to nuke. He tried to nuke my army. Pull my stalkers away from there. And the nuke, I don't, did it get that one? Oh, it takes out his shield and doesn't kill him. So, I do I even have another observer? Ah, yes, I'll bring another observer over. Because I figured he'd have more ghosts. Oh, I thought the other observer died, but, yep, he's... Well, maybe he did. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. But yeah, at this point, it's pretty much over. Because he doesn't have any units. Yeah, I feel like he hates how obvious those nukes are. Because, you know, and then... Because the, the game basically screams at you, Hey, genius, there's a nuke attacking your base, <laughs> like that. And there's GG. So, I actually won a game of StarCraft 2. I was very excited because that was actually a really close game. The tactical nuke completely destroyed my economy. And uh, if I hadn't had those Colossus, those Marauders would have most likely taken out my Stalkers. So that was a very good game. And uh, if you want me to make some more StarCraft 2 videos, I could show you guys all my placement matches. I actually went 3-2 and two in the placement matches, so 2 losses, 3 wins. Uh, the 2 losses were very fast games because I got rushed in the beginning. And uh, my strategy during all the placement matches was trying to get Blink Stalkers as fast as possible. Because that was the strategy I was comfortable with. Because I only played like 5 placement placement practice matches, which are at a slower pace. And I didn't really want to play the game that slow because it just felt extremely slow to play the game like that. So I went straight into the placement matches, got into the Silver League, isn't great. Not completely horrible though. And... Uh, yeah, that's that's where I stand. So, like I said, if you want me to make more StarCraft 2 videos, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.